How to create a sign up form using Wix. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how to create sign up form on Wix. Uh, now, there's one by default that is already existing uh, for your members and all of those things, but we can actually make it more customized and we can actually go ahead and edit a few things within it so we can. I'm going to show you exactly how to do so. And then there are also other ways that we can actually create our very own custom forms, uh, which I may also talk about. So we would want to go to our website first, and we would want to go to the editor. So we can just go to edit site and wait for it to load. Uh, and then from, from within the actual editor, I'm going to show you exactly how to access uh, the ability to create your very own custom uh, signup form. So once your website loads in, I know mine doesn't really look good. It's not, you know, it's just for these types of videos anyway. So um, if you want to actually go ahead and start doing your custom signing up uh, form, you would want to go to pages and menu. And then from here, you will find the section for sign up and login. This is going to be for the members. So we can actually go ahead and adjust this form that is uh, in here. So we can just go ahead and click on it. And then here you can see that it is the default form and you can just adjust a few things here, a few things from within it. But what we really want to do is just click on that and click on custom form. And now that we can actually do this, we can add a custom sign up form. We can click on add to site and now it's actually going to go ahead and add um, our sign up form for us. And we can actually start uh, creating it and customizing it to our liking. So in here, we can just move this a little bit down here. So it's not really uh, covering up anything. So we can just go ahead and start editing everything within this page. So we can just go ahead and change the background first. So we can just click on that and we can go to, for example, color. Uh, and we can just go ahead and start picking a color for the background itself. So I'm just going to leave it as dark gray. Uh, and then we would want to go ahead and move on to the next field here, which is this one right here. And again, if you want to manage this, you can click on design. And again, you can just go to color and we can manage this entire section color. So we can just make it uh, like a gradient color. Maybe we can do, for example, play around with this. Make it something like that. It's, it's really not looking good so i'm just going to leave it as solid color which is going to be um more lighter gray so now we have our actual uh, stuff here so if you want to really manage anything you would want to click on for example the text we can just go ahead and click on that if i can just do so click on edit text we can change it so maybe it's uh, uh whatever you want it actually to actually say so maybe you just type in sign uh up form and we can change it so that it is a little bit smaller we can make it bold and we can change the actual font uh, for it if that's what you want again i'm not really trying to make it look pretty not right now i'm just going to show you around and what you can actually go ahead and do so yeah we have this right now uh, and we have the fields. So if you want to go ahead and edit these fields, you can simply do so by just clicking on each one of them. So we can just, uh, oh no. Okay, so I just got back. Uh, thankfully, just they save everything, so it's good. So uh, if we click on the actual form, uh, if we click on form settings, we can find uh, the settings uh, that are related to this form. So we can just get, go ahead to these uh, settings here conditions contacts automation email marketing and support if you want to adjust all of those feel free to do so uh, but we can just talk about the, the actual uh, fields first so for example this one first name we can just click on edit field we can change the type of the actual field whether it's going to be text password uh, number email and so on it's just it's a first name field so i'm just going to leave it as text uh, and in here, field title is going to be uh, first name. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And here, show in, uh, initial text whether it's going to be placeholder or none or default, uh, then default, then placeholder. It's just going to look a little bit different. Uh, and this is the actual placeholder text 
So I believe this is the title of the actual thing. So I'm just going to name it first uh, name. It's actually going to show. So it's completely up to you whether you want it to actually have it on top of it or not. I'm just going to leave it empty for now. But it's, if you want to, you can just do first name. And it's going to look a little something like this, which is, which is not always great to have. So I'm just going to leave it as placeholder and only placeholder text. And then here, whether the field type is going to be required or read only, I'm just going to leave it as required. And if you want to set a character limit, you can do so. And for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of here. Same goes for last name and email and so on. But if you want, we can also completely remove some if you would like. Uh, to remove any, you can just go ahead and uh, change this up here, move them around a little bit so that they are matching. And if you want to add a field of your own, which is going to be completely uh, like exactly what you want it to be, we can basically um, go ahead and do uh, the duplication. So we would want to duplicate this and then we would want to change the information about it. So for example, this is an email field. We would want to create, for example, phone number field. Okay, so uh, instead of actually duplicating because you couldn't actually, I thought you could, but apparently you can't. Uh, to add a field, you would want to just basically click on the actual form itself and click on add new field. Uh, and then from here, we can just go ahead and add a, a field so we can add a sign up field, which is going to be one of those or member fields, which is going to be something like last name, uh, email, phone, and so on. So let's say we want to add a phone field. We can just click on the plus icon. And it's going to be added for us. Uh, and don't worry, don't worry about the position. We can adjust that later on. And I believe you have more than just one field here. For example, we can add a date field. And we can have it as a birthday uh, field, which could help with email marketing. So I'm just going to put these two. Uh, I'm just going to move this up here, move this up here. Same goes for the uh, actual thing. I'm just going to move it upwards. Uh, same goes for the sign up. So let's just change a few things here. So phone, we can click on edit field and we can just go ahead and make sure that it is a uh, phone number. Yes, it's just going to be exactly the same. Placeholder text is going to be, uh, well, it says phone. I don't know why it says add your name here, but phone number. And I'm just going to exit out of here. And you can see now with phone number and select date uh, is going to have edit field. I'm going to do birth uh, date. And we have our form ready to go. Uh, if you want to adjust the position and everything f for those, it's completely up to you how you want to do so. Uh, but you have this ready to go. You can just click on publish. And now this is going to be the sign up form uh, for your members for your Wix account. But if you want to create a, another sign up form within your actual website, you want to go to any page that you want to add the form to. So we can just go to the home page for the time being. I'm just going to add a section, a uh, blank section. So if I can just do blank section right there, we have our blank section here. We can just go to add elements. And now you have uh, multiple ways to go about how you want to add a like completely new form that is unique to you. Usually is going to be from contacts uh, and forms here. So you can just go ahead and create a new form. Uh, you would want to add this and it's just going to add the form for you where you can add uh, uh, more elements to it and so on. So this is pretty much how it works. I believe it does need uh, require upgrading to use this. But uh, I mean, if you want to do it more, more than just once, I believe that is going to require you to upgrade. But for the first time, you can actually go ahead and do it. Uh, if you want to add any fields, you can just click on them. So first name, last name, email, phone, and birthday. And once we're happy with this, we can just go ahead uh, and click on save. And we can just go ahead and use it. Uh, after you rename it, we can just go ahead and change this to uh, sub form. 
and if you want to adjust any settings here you can also do so but i'm just going to click on save and we can just exit out of here and it's going to be added for you you would want to obviously take it exactly where you want if you add a strip that would be much better for you so you're gonna have more space to work with and so on uh and yeah you can just resize it to your liking and if you want to edit it even more you can simply do so from edit form uh which is going to again take you this to the same place or we can just go back click on settings and i believe here you can actually go ahead and adjust the design aspect of the actual form so those are two different ways to create your signing uh, signing up form from your wix website one is going to be from adding elements and adding contact uh, and forms and the other one is going to be from the actual pages itself where you go to pages sign up and login and make sure this is custom and you can just go ahead and create the sign up forms for your website with that being said i hope that you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching